Hello, friends. Welcome to my embedded school. Have you ever noticed coil-like components on circuit boards? Moreover, it has the ability to store energy in the form of a magnetic field when electric current flows through them. It is known as an inductor, and it is among the most significant and fundamental components of electronics. We shall discover the definition of an inductor, its operation, and its various kinds and applications in this video. So, let's begin. We will first understand what an inductor is. An inductor is a passive and linear electrical component that has two terminals and store the energy in form of magnetic field when electric current flowing through it. It's also called coil, choke, or reactor. What is the inductance? Inductance is property of how much opposes or resists a rate of change of the flow of electric current in a conductor. The higher the inductance, the lower the current. The lower the inductance, the higher the current. The unit of inductance is Henry, H, and when we measure magnetic circuits, it is equivalent to Weber slash Ampere. It is denoted by the symbol L. You can think of an inductor as a spring that resists change of motion. The stiffer the spring, the higher the inductance. The softer the spring, the lower the inductance. How does an inductor store energy in the form of magnetic field? One of the basic properties of electromagnetism is that when current flows through a conductor, it will create a small magnetic field around the conductor. A strong magnetic field is produced when a conductor is twisted like a coil. When current starts flowing through an inductor or coil, a magnetic field starts to expand. When the current reaches its peak value, a magnetic field stops expanding, and an inductor gets some energy in the form of a magnetic field. While the current flowing through an inductor stops or starts to decrease, the inductor starts to release stored energy in the form of electrical energy. Do you observe anything from this topic? The current in an inductor can't change instantly, but it takes a certain amount of time. Voltage across an inductor is given by the equation. V equal to L multiply di by dt. Current flowing through an inductor is given by the equation. I equals 1 divided by L integration T equals 0 to minus infinite V dt. Why does an inductor act like a short circuit to DC? In steady state DC, when current is flowing through the inductor, it allows the current to flow freely. This is because the inductor has a steady state where the current and voltage are constant, so there is no opposition to the current flowing through the inductor. Due to this behavior of the inductor being parallel with other components in steady state DC, you can disregard those components as it will be like you short-circuited their nodes together. Why does an inductor act like an open circuit to AC? An inductor acts as an open circuit at the time of switching because it opposes changes in current flow through it. When the switch is open and there is no current flowing through the inductor, the inductor will not allow any current to flow through it. How to measure inductance? To measure the inductance of an inductor, you can use an instrument called an LCR meter or an oscilloscope that has an LCR function. Another way to find out the inductance of an inductor is to look at its color codes. Types of inductors. There are many types of inductors, depending on their design, function, and application. Some common types of inductors are. Air core inductor, an inductor that has no core material inside the coil, only air or vacuum. Iron core inductor, an inductor that has a core made of iron or other ferromagnetic material inside the coil, increasing the magnetic field and thus the inductance. Toroidal inductor, an inductor that has a coil wound around a ring-shaped core, reducing the magnetic leakage and interference. Variable inductor, an inductor that has an adjustable core or coil position, changing the inductance value. Applications of inductors. Inductors are widely used in many applications, such as Filtering, inductors can filter or block alternating current, AC, while allowing direct current, DC, to pass, they are also used to smooth out ripples or noises in power supplies. Tuning, inductors can tune or resonate with capacitors to create oscillating circuits, used for radio frequency, RF, applications such as radio receivers and transmitters. Energy storage, inductors can store energy temporarily as magnetic energy when current flows through them. They are also used for power conversion such as buck converters and boost converters. Sensing, inductors can sense or measure physical quantities such as current, voltage, frequency, temperature, pressure, etc. In this video, we learn what is an inductor, how it works, and what are its different types and uses. Inductors are essential components of electronics that can create inductance in the flow of electricity in different ways. They are involved in many fields and devices that we use every day. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos on electronics and technology. Thank you for watching.